Yo right there guys, what's good and welcome back to the Ultima RTG and we've made coins. Usually we're buying and selling players, losing on tags, but this time 86 rated Condobia was dropped onto the game and I sniped him on the RTG for 300,000. Sold him on for 500 and not only did that allow us to bring coins to the account, but it sparked that energy and drive to go and make even more. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be focusing on getting the club ready for team of the year and with that being said, I want to start trading like legitimately I'm going to start getting myself some awesome buys just after the weekend league usually that's when a few more players will start like get listing up and, and getting rid of players maybe that haven't performed for them in the weekend league and then on Thursday just when the rewards drop sell them on it seems to be like quite easy to flip and turn over profit fast when you're selling players on a thursday i don't want to be buying buying cards and treating them as investments that are going to bring me back coins in two three months that's not worth it so i want to make quick profit a lot of profit and that's something that we're going to be focusing on together so if you guys have got any advice for me maybe that's when you can come over to the live stream when we can do it together or yeah just let me know in the comment section and i'll show you exactly uh, players i'm wishing to pick up and we'll go from there but lingard it didn't really work 86 rated lingard he's not bad he actually is like another really nice option in the premier league 162,000 with the system that i'm playing it's just not really working and I'm using Felipe Anderson as that central cam. I still believe that the side needs to be changed just a little bit. But what I've put together is just playing so well. And I've got some updates with the weekend league. I faced up against a pro this weekend. My matchmaking has been okay. Uh, and a couple of really tough games. But Gabriel Jesus, you would have seen the last episode, 249. Paul Pogba. It just didn't work, man. Sometimes you got to say, fair enough. The player does not work for me and that will be the last time that i play with uh paul pogba it looks like he could get into the team of the week though and chances are right typical you know i was wanting i don't know messi red griezmann uh jesus all of these cards and then the highest rated player i'll go and pull and it'll be a pogba you know it and i don't even want to use pogba but maybe his red card will fix him i'm not so sure but if i had the option who would i rather go for this beast but as i've sold that one on what have i done to the starting 11 you're gonna go and find out in a second right boys we have spcs footmas cards daily objectives that i want to speak about it's all good leave a like and let's get into it so yesterday the day before we just haven't seen an allen feature in the footmas lineup today could be the day i think this is the last chance that he's going to get in it right uh isco was dropped yesterday and his card just doesn't really suit the build on this game unfortunately his shot power is far too low for my liking his stamina isn't really great and high to medium work rates with a three-star weak foot he just doesn't seem to be worth it then you have coutinho and his non-inform at the start of the game just didn't play that well for me and i was gonna unlock him i was very close to getting the card on the main account for about one hundred and fifty thousand, and i thought really what just play with for two to three games it just doesn't seem worth it and not many of you guys were actually interested in coutinho his dribbling stats are very nice but i feel like he needs at least another uh two to three upgrades if ea decide to just continue up in his finishing literally by one then what's the point you know if they upped it to maybe 83 somewhere around there and gave him a bit more on the sprint speed and literally that's it just up his finishing up his sprint speed a tad and i would probably have gone for the card but because of how bad the non-inform was for me i just don't see that being a worthy unlock I went for Van Antholt though, and I got myself Arias, two players that I'll show you their stats in a second. I think they've got a lot of potential, and Arias, he links to not only Lerma, but he gets a strong link into Griezmann. Van Antholt gets a strong link into Van Dijk, at that Champions League live card. God damn, he's got one. And if he gets another upgrade, we'll go and take a look at that in a second. It's just unreal, and I cannot wait to at least uh, switch out the defense. Uh, in maybe the next couple of weeks or so because i've been using ramos and Varan for a while and i fancy a bit of a change and i want to bring in if i'm going to take those guys out i want to bring in like very good replacements maybe not as good but at least players that are going to allow me to keep a relatively good defense so where the hell is this spc that i did and i got ready uh there it is footman's challenge for a gold players pack i'm down for it so i went and purchased a couple of these cars or did i i don't think i did i think most of these players 
Oh, actually, untradable or tradable? Yeah, sweet. Okay. So I haven't really spent too much on that. We're going to get ourselves one prime gold players pack. And with the Champions League and Europa League players in packs, the live versions... Let's go and test our luck. So can we get ourselves one of these special live versions? Let's get it. We've been playing pretty well in the weekend league, by the way. Oh, I need to show you some updates over there. Oh, gee, really? Ooh, okay. Yeah, about that. That's shocking. But what isn't shocking is the weekend league record. Let's go and take a look. Oh, before I do that, any of these guys sell? Probably not. So I was telling you guys during the week and I was being truthful on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, literally, uh, yeah, leading up to the weekend league, I was playing really bad. I don't know what was going on and it didn't feel right. Then I started the weekend league on the Friday and I still had that same gameplay. It was very loose in the defense. I couldn't get anything going. I wasn't really building up play properly and I was still able to get wins and I was dreading playing on Saturday because of how open it felt on the Friday, but I was still 10-0. And I knew myself that if it continued and I started to eventually come up against better players, it was going to screw me over. On Saturday, the gameplay switched and it's back to normal. It's back to how I remembered it to be playing. I'm comfortable going into tackles defensively. In the attack, I'm creating a lot more. And we finish with 18 wins, two losses. And two of those losses, you know what? I can't even complain about. One of them was against a pro player and he was uh, dominating me really I was able to change up my tactics in the second half and really go at him and I wasn't clinical enough. A few areas I was uh, messing up like inside the box, his keeper movement wasn't really that good. It was more to do with the timing of my shot. Instead of going for regular time shots when I'm wanting to hit near post, I think I'm going to resort to dropping a low driven. Uh, just quickly low driven, get it out and hopefully uh, secure like a few more goals doing that. Otherwise, I just put myself at a disadvantage and really uh the game i lost 2-1 against a pro player could have been like maybe like 3-1 3-2 you know it's just one of those games but for the most part i got dominated and i accepted that then the next game i came up against i don't think he was a pro but he was a very good player and it was close but I still took the L and I, yeah, I have no really real issues with that game was really nice on Saturday, uh, 18 and two. I thought that was a fantastic effort really with how I was playing during the week. So the last 10 games, if we finish on 28, it's not happening boys, but 28 wins on the RTG would be the best ever finish. I, I don't think I've got it in me. I'd love it though. But this is what happened last week. I was really negative about uh, how I was playing or where I was going to like finish up. Come on, let's think a bit more positive. If we can get to 20 wins, two losses, then a little bit more belief will um, sort, of, sort of fire up. But that's the problem, getting to 20 wins. It's usually around here I start to choke or I get a couple of uh, yeah L's. We shall see. So I don't know about you guys and how quickly you complete these weekly objectives. For me, I've got to start on the Monday because I'm taking part in the weekend league itself. But someone told me, like they gave me a really cool idea. Why not play against viewers? So on Monday, we're having a giveaway Christmas stream. So all throughout, I'm going to be giving away FIFA points, FIFA itself, gifted subs, all that good stuff just to give you guys something back for Christmas. And just to say a special thank you for your continued support all the way through the year. And why not play against viewers as we're completing this challenge for Santi Cazorla? So for me to know it's you, just change your team name to, I don't know, Fuji or, or whatever, you know, we, we arranged that. And I will be able to play you guys on the stream. You can build your silver team. I can build my silver team. And it'd be a bit of fun as we're doing giveaways and all that good stuff. And his card does look playable, but I don't think he's going to feature in my starting 11. I'll just use him as a free card to bring up the rating in an SBC. But if you're down for that, guys, let me know in the chat. But we need to go and take a look at the team changes and we'll jump in to some weekend league games. God damn. It's going to be seriously tough. My skill rating or whatever it's done on is, is good. And I'm worried because we're going to be put up against a beast. So we do have ourselves three footmas cards. And the first one is going to be Van Anthol. And this guy is worth the coins. He set me back around 30,000. Like that's the value of the team. But I was using untradables in that. So 
I brought down the cost to what, like 10,000? Not even that. Like, I literally bought two players, right? So Van Antenhol was brought onto the RTG just because when I'm selling up my team to afford a team of the year, I can rely on Van Antholt in the left back position just to add that security because his non-inform was pretty decent. And this card, 84 stand tackle, 97 jumping, 85 stamina, I would really recommend to get him. I tried him out on the main account and he's just an absolute beast. He's really, really good. And then we have Arias as well in the right back position. His stats look really solid. Is he going to play as well as a Lala, like a second inform Lala or potentially a third inform Lala that's going to be coming this wednesday if i could get his red card that'd be sick but i will test him out during the week because i don't want to make too many changes to the starting 11 because it's been playing well and then jordan lukaku is just I, I just unlocked him because of how cheap he really was, but I doubt he's going to feature. These two will, though, and probably next week, I'll get rid of uh, Marcelo for a bit, and I'll change up the defense, and I'll bring in, yeah, these two uh, new players. So with Griezmann, this guy is the star man in this team. Like, I really rate Griezmann on this game. He feels so fast, so agile, weirdly strong because he's got aggression, just everything about this upgrade is fantastic and i hope atletico madrid do well in the competition because i want that live version to go up to like a 95 rated swear to god 27 games 20 goals seven assists and i remember when i started i had like seven games one goal because i wasn't playing too well but he's really pulled that around as my right attacking mid and that's where i love to play him then i brought in condobia because i couldn't afford well i didn't really want to purchase the 86 rated condobia I thought, why not bring in the non-inform? He's going to be just as good, right? 1,517 games, and he's actually a, a bit of a beast. And I quite like him. He's just overpowered, and I had to repurchase Mbappe. Boys, I was trying my best not to go and buy him, but I really am in desperate need of that kind of player in a striker position. And look at what he's doing for me. Once again, the playmaker, the finisher, which is Mbappe, is always balanced with him. He's playing to my strengths. Not only does he get goals, but he assists. And that is what I need. Someone that can run into the channels, playmake, use his skills, lay over to somebody else, get the assist, and I eventually score. Uh, Felipe Anderson's been playing as the middle cam, and it's not really ideal. Um, I want to change that for next week. I want someone who's more of like a cam, I guess. I don't know if it's his passing. It's like weirdly his dribbling sometimes feels a bit dodgy. It could just be his reactions and stuff. But that's how I've been setting out the team. Switch out to a 4-2-3-1, and it's just a very, very meta side that's giving me a good chance in the weekend league. Right, boys, are we ready? Fitness, let's go. Oh, Christ's sake. Here we go. What are we facing? Oh, God. Two icons. Hazard, Mbappe, Tierney. God damn, that's a big team. See Mbappe? Yes, Mbappe. Felipe Anderson. Oh, what's happened? Oh, is it a, a yellow? It must be a yellow card. Uh, he may have pulled me back or done something. Not even a card. I thought I was going to get there with uh, Anderson. Like, just put it underneath the keeper. You know what? Screw it. Oh. oh, he's messed that up, Condobia. Felipe Anderson. Hazard. The dribbling. Anderson. When he's in those positions, he's okay. But when you're wanting to properly build up... Hazard. Anderson's got a really nice left foot, to be fair. A four-star, four-star. But those are the positions that I don't mind him getting in. It's just when I'm trying to play making stuff. Uh, this one's going to go over to Ramos. Oh. Marcelo. Yes. Oh, oh. Come on, man. Please. Can I finish with the highest finish on the RTG? 28 wins. Nah, it, I haven't even won this one. What am I talking about? Condobia is, well, one footed, but I don't think that really kills playmaking with him. He just uses his uh, left foot a little bit more. Maybe in some situations, if my opponent's closing him down or something like that, he won't be as good. Griezmann, first time finesse. All right, the first time finesses this weekend have been good to me. I've scored maybe four or five, and at least three of them have been like stupid angles as well. So I thought they were supposed to patch it. Bail. Damn, from kickoff. Don't know why that is the case. 
Well done, Mbappe. That's kind of what I need as well, just to get me out of trouble. He's so important. Is it because of the five-star skills? Or is it just the way he feels on the ball? Well done, Hazard. Just like that. It's really been the Griezmann show this weekend. But Hazard, he's still got that quality to get me the extra goals. But yeah, Mbappe... I don't know if it's the skills or if it's just the way he feels. He's just the guy to lead the line. So we are playing pretty well today. 4-1 in this game. And when you ask me, who do you think is better? Mbappe, Neymar or Hazard? Who should I go for? Like the non-informed versions. I would say Mbappe is more important to me than Neymar. Although Neymar is the better player overall, Mbappe as the striker, he's one of a kind. In a 4-2-3-1, not many people like him. Not straight away from kickoff. Damn, another kickoff goal I've conceded. He's going to have to close me down a bit better. Otherwise, he's not going to get back into this game. What are they? Oh my god, I just slid out the way. How is that even possible on the floor like that? He hasn't found a way through though properly. Like from open play, other than like the two kickoff goals that he's actually scored, not really too much going forward, which is um, nice to know. That's a great ball. Give it straight back. Condobia, Ooh, Felipe Anderson. I tried to time it, it didn't let me. And his keeper movement, he read it. And I just think it was because of the shot that was delayed. Anderson is nasty in those positions. It's a shame that he he didn't get like a player of the month. In the second half, I was just trying to control the pace of the game, just slow it down a little bit. And then around the 70th minute, I switched into my defensive tactics to hold out and it worked quite well. But 5-2, that's a good result. Next game. And another icon, Rio Ferdinand in the defense. A Bamiang I used the other day and he was decent. Good play. That's it. We want to be like, unpredictable. We want to keep moving. Keep that ball moving. Keep changing directions. A little touch inside from Kante was beautiful. Yes, Kante. Well played. Good stuff. I feel like I'm going to get a goal any second. God damn. What a finish that would have been from Felipe Anderson. Go on. Mbappe. That's what I was lacking. Mbappe is just so broken and so important for me in this formation. He does stuff like that. And because he's right-footed, it suits me. I prefer right-footed players. You, you need four-star, four-star as a striker, IMO. Hazard wants to go. Oh, penalty. I, was, I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to, like, cut down the left-hand side. And I was just waiting for his move. And he's just going to swipe my legs. I'll take that. Mm, I was going to go to the left, but I thought, well, I don't know, man. It is a shame that we weren't able to go 3-0 up. I messed up the penalty. I just went down the middle. I was thinking he was going to go to the left, but it's okay. It's one of those games where it's, I don't think it's going to affect us too much. Let's hope not. I'm controlling it right now. I feel very comfortable. Let's keep going. I mean, have you ever heard of the saying, less is more? That's what I feel like I'm doing today. Not really like powering down as much, just allowing my AI just to stand there in front of him. And I'm going to try and find that across to Griezmann. Uh, mm, that's a good interception. Yes, Anderson. Oh, god damn. Yo, I was saying at the start, Anderson just feels really weird for me when I start him as that central cam. When I bring him on, it's different. But my god, he's proven me wrong. Oh, Mbappe. Kante, what a pass from Hazard. How has he picked that out? The dream is still alive. We could finish on 28 wins. We now have eight games remaining. The last eight will be played later today on stream. I hope that we can finish big. Mbappe with a hat trick. God damn, what a monster. So as you probably guessed, we are 20 and two. What a record, what a foundation to really push into the last eight games and achieve a high rank. If I can get, well, 25 wins right now at this stage is probably minimum. Like That's where I should really be hitting. I can't choke the rest, surely. Well, I can. 
I know I can. So I need to really just stay positive and play how I can play. Today, my defending was on point and I am really enjoying these custom tactics. I know someone asked me uh, and, and have been asking like, what are you running, uh, running right now? So as I'm playing the game, I use this balanced 4-4. Uh, four, four. Probably this isn't even ideal to start off a game because I'm just opening myself up at the back. But that's something that I feel comfortable like creating a little bit more. And then in the 60th minute or when I've scored like two goals, like in the last game, yeah, 2-0 up, I switched into these ones. So drop back tactic, uh, two depth. Like if you can't beat them, join them. Like that's the meta right now. So if you're struggling with keeping a defense, and I did say in the game, like, less is more. And that's what I'm starting to realize. If you keep throwing your players forward, like your CDMs to charge them down, you just open up, open yourself up at the back. Just hold off a little bit. And eventually your opponent will rush or just uh, pass away the ball. So that's what I've been using. And I did see a comment suggesting, like, is it a good idea for me to purchase Griezmann? Or do you think that you could use the coins a little bit better? This guy, like, the perfect attack right now is having Hazard as my left attacking mid and Griezmann. Griezmann as the right attacking mid. This guy is my perfect player on the game with the pace upgrade, which is noticeable. Like you can't tell me this Griezmann doesn't feel like faster than the non-inform. No way. He is lightning quick. He's got stupid strength that I don't know where it comes from. He gets most of the rebounds. His finishing is an absolute joke. Like that's how good it is. And the way he feels on the ball is super, super light. He reminds me of the cheap version of a Cruyff. It's just a shame that he doesn't have five star skills and a weak foot, you know, but th that kind of model and that kind of style, that's what Griezmann is offering. And Condobia is holding it down, to be fair. Maybe next week I'll upgrade to the special version if he comes down in price. But what a team. And with the way we're playing, can we have a big push later today? Thank you very much for watching, boys. Leave a like. Good luck in the weekend league. And I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.